Hello, this is Noah here, and I'm with Nikayo Shepard. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Undercast. Uh, we would like to announce that we are starting again. Okay, after a <coughs> good two years, two years of, of nothing. nothing, and this is hopefully going to be an actual uh, proper podcast, not with a $20 webcam and us wearing headsets that echo off of each other, We've got an being action. restless and sick. But <laughs> however, this time around, we're starting with me being sick. Last time, it Noah was, was sick, yeah, and yeah. it's about the same time of year again. It's weird how things like that work out, parallels. Yeah, it really do be that way. They're wonderful. But um, this was about a split-second decision where I just, yesterday, um, Wednesday, of... <laughs> It Aren't was it always? was it was Halloween when I just texted and I was I was home because it had snowed and I texted Nikayo and I was like, Hey, you know what? And he was like, What? And he's like, We should start the undercast again and he was like, Dude, I was thinking the same thing. And um uh what what we really want for this is um I think we, we want to be talking candidly. Um uh, our actual um both of our opinions shared Raw, 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 We're going raw there, opinions. Raw. No, no. Yep. No, we can't say that. Yeah, we can say what we want because uh, yeah. this is our opinions. I, right. I, obviously, we won't go overboard, All but right. I would like there to be guests. If that's guests. you know, I was hoping yeah. that we yeah, shared yeah, that. I, 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 <laughs> I don't want to share we, the same dream for this as you do. It's not just going to be a podcast anymore. It's going to be like there's going to be a whole different variety of stuff like possibly there's a very big possibly fan films in the future and just skits and so on yeah and and i'll have noah be mainly the star of those um i'll be here mainly for the podcast those are just dreams for the channel yeah. and i think we're gonna upload the podcasts uh it's it's its own thing on the same channel um but also hopefully i'll i'll be doing some work with spotify in the future uh, noah doesn't yeah. Noah's not a big fan of Spotify. Sorry. I happen to use it for my podcast, like the ones I listen to, like I, I Ear listen, Biscuits. I only listen to one podcast. It's called Mostly Nitpicking, and I listen to it on <laughs> Google Play Music. Yeah, no, no. I, I think we should probably also go on Google Play in the future. I think we're just going to stick with YouTube for now and then and then Spotify um, and then you know other platforms from there. But um, we want to have guests here and there. Definitely. And, oh, yeah. Uh, big big Garrett. Big Garrett. Big Hell Garrett yeah. back He's, in here. He was in one of our episodes. I don't. Is that episode still on the channel? Oh yeah, it's still on there. Okay. Sometimes I go back and watch. Wow, wow, that's crazy. Uh, yeet. So we're we're gonna be doing stuff like that. I'm well, um, personally, I've been planning things like stuff and things and things st- and stuff. Things and stuff. Stuff and things. You know, um, things like chapstick um, and chaps, chap lips and things like chemistry. There you go. No. But um, things things like music comparisons, where like we would take either two artists or two albums or just two <clears throat> songs in general, where it would be like some like like a few of the ideas I have is Young Sinatra versus Bobby Tarantino. And uh, yeah, actually, I have your list of things right here. I was about to pull up that you were texting me. Uh, young uh, Slim Shady versus Young Sinatra. All right, you said. Movie reviews, uh, stuff and things, short films. Uh, well, that was just the thing that you were going to be yes. filming on the channel, the short films. Yes. But uh, music reviews. Uh, that's This is, by the way, when I say music reviews and reviews, this is corners of the podcast, reviews. not corners of the channel. The channel right. will have other things other than the podcast. Right. But the podcast, which I'm going to be mainly in, um, are going to have you know things like uh, comparisons of music, artists, movies, and and obviously just c- candid conversations with us, uh, guest stars. It's going to be uh, kind of chill things that we um, like that uh, that are passions of us. I think mm-hmm. um, stories. Because there are plenty of those that we have. Oh, definitely. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh no, and then we're we're going to we're going to share plenty of those. And slander and accusations, whatever he says. No, I, no, 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 no. I think he was. I, I think he might have been drinking a little bit that night, officer. You know. Well, we, <laughs> come on, no, <laughs> we don't talk about that. Uh, no, um, and I think this is just going to be something that is is a therapeutic. Can be therapeutic, Thera- therapeutic for us. You think so? I think that there are some things that we would. Uh, be better off, you know, having having fun, being able to, you know, just let it out there and not just being within the friend group knowing about. On the, and, on the you know, podcast. On yeah. the podcast, you and know. And it's not like we're going to have a huge audience that's going to be here. Well, and, we might. Well, one day, but one, one by day. then we're not going to care. <laughs> well, 
about what's exposed and what we have right. exposed. You, you make a very good point. Uh, I, very and good I think point. Uh, some of the friend group and the mutual friends should come on as well. I, I agree. And everybody uh, has good stories, you know. Oh we, yeah, we all yeah. have we all have fun, exciting times to talk about. Just like when uh, you know I picked you up from school today. Well, we both went home from school, <laughs> and then we went and got food. Taco Baco Tell. No Taco Bell. And uh, say it right. We we went to Baco Tell and then we went Taco Bell to Noah's oh house. Oh my gosh! And uh, he pre-ordered Fallout seventy six. Yes, yes. And we have come to. We haven't played enough of like maybe an hour of the game. Maybe, uh, yeah, probably less and, than that, honestly. Yeah, and we just have a couple. There are major differences, obviously. Well, of course. Oh, yay! What's new? So I'm gonna have to edit. Whoa, that's incest. Uh, incest, I'm a doctor. Okay. Whatever you say, man. Whatever you say. I have to edit a huge portion of this out. It's okay. Uh, we'll f- what was I going to say? Can you throw that in there? All I- you have to do is actually bleep out gay. No, we're keeping no. in gay. Actually, I'm going to keep in this entire well, segment. Well, if you put it on YouTube, you'll get demonetized. Well, who okay, says I we're wanting it. the monetization? What? Me? Who says we want the monetization? No, I'm kidding. The eye. Slightly important. We'll figure it out, you know. Okay, cool. Go, go you take. Edit all of this out now. Yeah. You Leave. Have, you might yeah. Well you, you gotta. You gotta take your. Yeah, we'll be fine. You gotta. You gotta take your shower, dude. Go take your shower, dude. Go take your shower, dude. <laughs> all right. Well, I have to literally have to. I have to edit so much. We'll be out fine. Of this. It'll be all right. And okay. Anyway, so we. Uh, after minor interruptions, um, can share with you our uh, unadulterated opinions, <laughs> very, very first opinions, but uh, opinions nonetheless, and there are lots of new things. And for this is obviously at the time of this recording, it's new. It, the game, the beta Extremely just released. New. The pre-order of the, the beta just released the, on the, Halloween. Yeah. Uh, like yesterday, well, it just came out. Well, for the Xbox users, it came out yesterday, but something happened with the PC where like, yeah, you it had got to re-download delayed. it. So I um, I was one of those people that had to re-download <laughs> it, and I got to play it today when and, I got home. And see, I have an advantage over you. <laughs> I, I have played, I have personally played Red Dead 2. Red Dead, I have not. Uh, and, and also Fallout 76. You have only played Fallout 76. I have been but completely abstaining from anything Red Dead Redemption why? related. As to not get spoilers to the game. I still want oh the game. Oh my god, the story. And and, and the, the sca- what We're, we're not, not here we're to not talk about it. We're not going to talk about it now. We're we'll not talk, talk about that next episode. Next, maybe. Next time. We'll, we'll, when, when Noah gets a proper grasp of, yeah. of it, we'll yeah. talk about it. Anyway, what are your opinions of 76? 76? Well, um, it's very colorful. I've got to say, the color palette is just... Wow, it's like, it's so, it's very pastel, and it's like, you've got a lot of greens and oranges, you know? It's reds. Very, reds, The greens, red oranges. is vibrant. Yes. You know, it hurts when you go down to the vault. You know how Fallout 4 always had that, like, consistent turquoise color? You know, it was like yeah. that blue turquoise. Yeah. I'm it's sorry, I cracked my neck. It's it's the opposite in, in Fallout Yeah, 76. it's very, in, it will be, it's West Virginia in fall. Yeah. And, um... What is Fallout Four? Is just just it's just destroyed. I don't know. I think a lot more um, should be dead. A Boston. I think a lot more should be dead. And I, uh, geez, I I I haven't been up to uh, up to speed on my Fallout lore. Uh, in in where seventy six lies on that timeline. Something like it's either uh, it's twenty. Here we have de- it's not like we have devices right I'm, here that can look it up. You're absolutely. Right, it's either on. it's twenty to seventy years after the bombs. Um, but. It's everything, like the flora, there's so much like grass and trees. And like 20 years after a nuclear right, explosion. So it's 25 years after yeah. the nuclear war decimated the planet. Well, actually, you know, it's funny. Decimate means take 10% of. Take de- oh, it oh. pretty much obliterated the planet. But no, yeah. it, it decimated. Oh, t- 10%. If America is 10% uh, of the planet. Well, then well, didn't it destroy a lot more? We, there's a whole other. Like, we don't know. We don't know anything else. I, I Yeah. So it's very... It's very green and red and orange, and it's just beautiful. The sun rays, they're beautiful. The sky, it looks amazing. Old game, it looks fantastic. Now, the way it handled when we first started was not the greatest, but that was well, probably that's, because it's, it's a beta. beta. It, well, first of all, it's beta. Yeah. Second of all, people are coming home from school and just getting on for the first yeah. time. 
Uh, third of all, it's an MMO, and that's bound to happen regardless of the patches. Well, uh, at least every once in a while. It's like a but mini. After we got in, it was it was quite smooth for what it is. Um, also, here here's something I realized. Yeah. Fallout 4 is a century after Fallout 76. Uh, I think it's like two centuries after. It's a century. I just, it just, Only 100 I, years? I looked up, yeah. Really? It's, it's, well, it's over, but not to the point where you could consider okay. it even a century and a half. Okay. Um, uh, anyway, Fallout 4 looks significantly more dead than Fallout 76. And, and if I'm not mistaken, usually things would regrow. Yeah. Nah, it's it's pretty raw, you know, after yeah. the nukes fell. See, that's and why it's, I, it's really thriving. And that's that's what I was trying uh, to like, say. Uh, and I guess West Virginia just didn't get hit. Like, New West Vegas. Vir- like, Vegas didn't get hit, well, obviously. That, the, the city of the, Vegas. A few places around Vegas got hit. Like the, but but I, I the, think they, the Strip was, like, yeah, okay. in, intact. The strip in almost Vegas. perfectly okay. intact. You make a good point. Um, so West Virginia as a whole must not have been a... Because, like, what, what, what is, like, military-wise, what does West Virginia have? Just, I, uh, I'm not 100% on my I couldn't tell uh, you. tactics of war here. Uh, I know Colorado has NORAD. We have Fort Carson. We've got a significant amount of things that would make us at least... Uh, one of the one of the targets uh, for at least a nuke. Um, I could in, in mutually assured. Well, could not tell you. It's mutually assured the, destruction. Could not tell you the uh, militaristic state of any of our states. Military advantages of that's not. West. Here, you know, I've got you. I'm not. I'm not very up to date on that information. All right. Um, one of the th- one of the we, well, we, there's free hunting and fishing for West Virginia resident former prisoners of war or 100 percent total and permanent disabled veterans. Okay, that's that's what happens when you look up military advantages of West Virginia. Uh, yeah, yeah, disabled veterans, yeah, and prisoners, and former prisoners, prisoners. And former prisoners. They really want to keep those prisoners fed. I'm and going to get like a short, like a two month prison sentence, just so I could go free fishing and hunting. Ma- in West Virginia. Make sure it's well. I, I think it's just citizens. If you become I'm a citizen, citizen, well, I'm going to go and live in. West uh, well, th- there no, you go. Not actually. I don't want to. Go uh, and I think that's because there's uh, lots of because in Colorado, obviously, there's a lot of people and a lot of fish but it's been fished out and i think west virginia has a slightly significantly lower population uh because there's no places like like denver i don't yeah, think I, um i couldn't tell you off the top of my head I, I i'm not good on american geography i can tell you where azerbaijan is i don't know what you just said it's a place in the middle east but never I, it's it. I, I i i can't tell you anything about north america <laughs> Uh, well, I, you know, it's funny. It's north of South America. You know what I just learned, like, less than a month ago? Would you? And I think I told you about yeah, this. It Alaska? Dis- yeah, it destroyed me. No, it, it destroyed me. You didn't know? Alaska is not a part of the continental U.S. It is connected to Canada. You know what else isn't part of the Hawaii. Yeah, I but I knew, I knew that. Like, Hawaii, like, I knew it's an island, right? I knew it's detached. Like, you've well, grown up knowing Hawaii is an you, island. Where did you think Alaska was? I literally thought, okay, you know, on a map of the U.S., and Alaska has its own little box, and on the, like, bottom left corner, it's like Alaska. Yeah, it's because like they don't want to show it, it looks like an island. And, and I didn't necessarily think it was an island. I just thought it was, like... Like like above California, above <laughs> like California, in Oregon. Uh, like like in Oregon. Like yeah, like 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 connected to Oregon. And you found that out a week. Ago. And I found out that it was literally to the east, or no, to the west of Canada. And like I I just for the life of me can't figure out why it doesn't belong to Canada. And obviously uh, it's because well it's because of obvious reasons. Like we took that territory over. But well, no, come on, we bought it. We we okay, Canada. yeah, the, but that's what I mean. Like I could, we we either took it over or we we bought it like well i could i could tell you why like before we owned a huge part of the u.s we we, it was it was in other territories lands it was dutch lands french and the louisiana purchase we bought a huge segment but believe it was during the cold war that we bought alaska all right where um we wanted to monitor like that little stretch between um um like uh, just the american continent as a whole yeah, and Russia because they're really because they're yeah they're right next so, to each other and I, you never think of that because you think of uh, the globe on a linear <laughs> scale and it's 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 a sphere if you haven't yeah. noticed uh, flat Earth for well, life. What do you mean? It's a it's it's a it's big flat. it's a yeah. donut. Man. Yeah, haven't oh, you played it's Halo? a do- donut donut theory. Halo. Halo. Yeah, yeah. it's a halo ring. Oh my God. <laughs> but um, 
That's going to be a whole episode. We bought it from Canada just to kind of monitor and make sure that the Russians weren't coming over. That's why there's kind of a... a, There's also a heavy military presence in Alaska, if you hadn't noticed. I believe so. Heavy... Oh, yeah, yeah, no, 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 I I know that. that, that, um, I've actually... Well, that's my plan. That's how I figured it out. I'm hopefully joining the Coast Guard up in Alaska. The Coast Guard? Yeah. Uh, in Alaska? For, yeah, yeah. That is not a place you want to go swimming. Well, first of all, <laughs> I very much like, and this is opposed to a lot of opinions, uh, and probably a lot of Alaskans as well, um, but I think there's a huge amount of charm and beauty in the cold and oh, I the love gloom. The I love the gloom. No, I don't know about the gloom. No, I, I, and I'm not a fan of gloom. Something about controlled amounts of gloom and, and fog gloom. and clouds. So do tell me what is uncontrolled gloom clouds and clouds No, I said controlled. Okay. Like but, if it's not. But what does uncontrolled. Okay, well, well Alaska, is is, Alaska is like constant. But I mean constant, like controlled okay. gloom. What is, like when it's in, 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 it's frequent like, but in. Like our picture. No, that's not quite gloom. That's, th- no, that's that's like that's, that's, that's that's twilight. I yeah. mean, you know, it's by, by it's dark. no, I mean like um, at this time of year, there's a controlled amount of gloom, and I don't know if that's an actual politically correct statement. I'm just calling it that. I mean, controlled some days gloom. it's gloomy, some days it's not opposed to our summers, which is boom, freaking bright, constant, twenty four seven brightness. I don't like the gloom. I like the cold when it's really sunny out. It just yeah, it has like this that. very different vibe to it that I uh, personally enjoy. I don't like gloom. I I'm like very, blue uh, lights. I like dark light. I like um, uh, driving in the early a.m. Early. I like, I, I like uh, that. I like three a.m. to five a.m. or three a.m. to six a.m. Uh, but, but if you like bright it out so much, why do you why why the sunrise? It's the all sunrise. right. The, 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 the sun the rises. Way, the way it paints the the sky a pastel. Yeah color and garrett would tell you i think i think that should be our topic of discussion is just the beauty um in a sunset and clouds you know because what what? is beautiful sorry to cut you off didn't mean to no it's okay you know i i personally took offense but it's fine i'll get over it no Um, it's okay no i love you i love you too no homo i really yes homo oh whoa 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 whoa. (laughs) okay but but uh you know what else is is beautiful what's beautiful our topic of discussion fallout 76 that we totally swear well of course from that's i think that's i think the charm of this charm is i i think i'm you know we should go for a more like i said candid right it it flows we should we should nail it it, flows we should nail it real quick and then we keep flowing well i don't know if 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 something like that can be enjoyed like Mm -hmm. you know real quick like let's just nail it real quick and then 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 the like let's have it so we start we give our opinion we say what needs to be said and from there we move. But we did not talk about the bat system. Yet. We did not talk. We barely talked about we barely any of the mechanics. Talked about the mechanics. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Like I, I enjoy having these flowing conversations. I love it. But yeah, you're we right. You're right. You're right. We, we. Okay. Okay. We cut it. We're, we cut this part out, and we start again here. So back to Fallout 76, real quick. What? What did we cut out? Oh, what we just had there in the. Don't cut that out. That's that's. No, that you leave like... that. Okay, that felt more like a, a director, like like on the scene set. Like you don't see that in the movie when he's talking to. His this actors is not to okay. It. I don't. I well, think okay. you. I think you missed the the purpose of a podcast, Noah. I, I, I think you you don't get the. I mean, yes, podcasts in their respective way nail different um, topics, but uh, a true a conversational podcast starts with something and then it continues and it ebbs and flows okay um no i i don't think any of this i i think other than your brother's bombardment <laughs> should be cut i think it needs to be like i said raw it, okay. it is what it is All right, as, as as unedited and unadulterated as possible okay now fallout 76 um the what do you think system. about the bat, the bat system. system i'll hold my opinion. um well i the very last thing i did in the game like seconds before i quit was use the bat system it i was... know you took <laughs> me me and myself and your brother were using it a lot yeah yeah they were ha- they were having a grand old time but uh the vat system it it's very it's it's a bit different than it was in the other games it's a very bit. a bit well quite quite different it's you know, they kept the same concept, but basically, like, stripped everything else. Well, um, like, so now you still target a, like, a thing, 
but it anatomy. doesn't yeah an enemy but it doesn't slow down and you can't quite spe- in the beginning you weren't able to target a specific part of their body and then you upgrade you, yeah. you get perks that you allow lock. you to target different areas so so like when you start and you uh you trigger vats uh which is your vault assisted targeting vault assisted targeting system right yeah Hooray! That's the, yeah there we go um and you trigger <laughs> that and um it you it locks onto an enemy it does not let you switch body parts like it did it doesn't let you select uh, and i think we've seen this evolution in fallout 4 too in fallout 4 it did not stop it slow it, it went down in slow motion but you could still select a body part now when you start without any uh vats perks in fallout 76 you can only you can only shoot the 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 body part you select which is the entire thing yeah and you select it by holding your shoot button and it doesn't it's not like um it's similar to like aimbot it's it's yeah, it's, it's like less it's less dead eye like from uh red eye or from red dead it's remember dead like it's no 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 because dead eye it pauses you click all the areas you want well, it, and then it, you shoot so now it it's more aim, it's aimbot though okay yeah, it's, it's basically more, aimbot. it's more like an aim it's, it's like, a select now now once you get the the vats perks and you can choose the areas you shoot on the person it's a uh it's a selective aimbot you shoot where you want using an aimbot system that's basically what it is now yeah yeah i i agree with that um the perk system is quite it's very yeah. it's it's very different than it used to be uh, and I, I think they took away from a bit of the rpg aspect um it almost feels um now this is this is a stretch because one of them is uh, D and D based. Uh, there's a game called Pathfinder. This Pathfinder that was a spinoff of D and D, and it's cards. I haven't heard of. Um, I'll Pathfinder. explain this later. But the cards you you get a, a deck of cards basically um, as perks, oh. and it's a random amount of. No, I'm talking about Vault 76 right now. Oh, but I thought you were talking. I'll talk about, about Pathfinder that. later. Okay, okay. I mean, you get a set of uh, of uh, in Vault 76. You'll get your set of uh, perk cards. Yeah, the special, and they, they the random, special cards. Yeah. Um, but they, well, no, they're, they're perks, right? No, they're, they're, you get the special cards first, and then you unlock, like, cards within the cards. They're like like the perks, like perk cards, right? Yeah, well, first... And they randomize. You don't know what you're going to get until you open the pack. Well, not quite. That was only That was only that one instance. What happened... Um, there, there are times where you level up, like I, when you hit level four, you get a pack of cards and it's just a whole bunch of random cards that when you open it up and it's, it's pretty useful. Um, you know, got a whole bunch of low levels stuff cause you know, like explain low, low like the cards. Well, uh, the way it is first, There's you, gun nut or... you pick up these special cards and it's like the special book from fallout three, except a little different. Uh, like you, you pick up the special cards and then you go into this like little skill menu it's really it's like an unprofessional skill menu it, it's like it's it took it's like if you had a you have an rpg and you take away the um choice of an rpg well not not quite because it's it's almost like you take some choice away from it a, though. a lot of choices taken away. a lot of a choice lot a of lot of selection from yeah. what you want your character to be more like uh like let's say i want my character uh to not have those certain perks but have others you don't really have a choice they're now randomized and given to you well, and, and to select them is your choice that's not the thing um you go into the the special menu and like you could click on like let's say let's say you're going into strength you click on strength and it shows you a variety of cards you can pick from but you can like only pick one per level and you can only have like one special card equipped at a time so there are times where you get random packs that are just given to you and there are times where like more often than not you'll be picking but it's very it's very limited uh yeah yeah um i i just because it's an mmo yeah it's a mini MMO. i think it's really hard to get a lot of role play aspect in there yeah i mean look at the elder scrolls online it's kind of like an uh it's kind of it's, it's not bad <laughs> it's not bad it's not right? it's not bad it's just, yeah. it gets, you know repetitive after a while uh, it, it's 
Elder Scrolls Online, if I'm, and then I don't want to, from what I've seen, I haven't played it, I've seen a couple Let's Plays here and there, it's almost, uh, like, WoW-ish, you know, like, World of Warcraft, uh, ish in its own in, in its own yeah. perspective i think it's almost got it's almost reminiscent uh, of world of warcraft yeah I'd, I'd agree with that i think world of warcraft um personally I, I like the style of world of warcraft more that more cartoony kind of feel it has to it opposed to that realistic gritty and geez does yeah. world of warcraft was by the way just such a revolutionary p- uh, game for yeah, a lot of future games well um one of the things my father always told me was that world of warcraft had ruined mmos because he came from a time where mmos were really big before world of warcraft where it was like he played a game called everquest EverQuest. oh i've heard of that that's old yeah he played that when it first came out and it was it was was 90s yeah he was he was let me see i I believe everquest was i think that's hold on he was like 30 I'm, i'm gonna keep explaining but uh everquest he he told me that everquest was essentially a more realistic and hardcore version of world of warcraft and yeah. everquest like you died and when you died you lost all of your stuff and it degraded as after time and he told me everquest was so big for its time that people would actually take off of work just so they could get their stuff back so that it doesn't like degrade because that's how much people cared about it it was 90, 1999. Yeah, yeah, this game was. Oh, that's wow. that's before me. Wow. It almost looks like Morrowind. It it's like Morrowind the MMO. It's yeah, it's like Morrowind the MMO with even worse graphics. <laughs> wow. Wow. What a but, 99. But you know, he told me EverQuest, like all the MMOs were great, and then he told me World of Warcraft came out, and he said, just like ruined it for him, and he hasn't been able to find a good MMO since then. You tried Rust. <laughs> That's uh, Rust is okay, <laughs> oh, you know. Man. Like I, <laughs> me and me and my father, we we went from like MMO to MMO. We played, uh, we we did we we did World of Warcraft. We tried Elder Scrolls Online. I did not like what I saw of Elder Scrolls Online that much. Uh, the game's changed a lot. Like there's a lot of. And different it's been stuff a while since I've checked in. So I mean, maybe maybe we'll do a playthrough sometime. Yeah, I think that should be, I think we should, uh, now, obviously, if we have enough uh, feedback from you guys before we do get somewhat known, if, um, if and when we get somewhat known, uh, if we get feedback before that time. Yeah, just like. uh, I think, you know, we could do a, like a let's play. Yeah. Yeah. I think we could do a lot of Let's Plays. I think we could do a Let's Play piece, a, a podcast piece, and then yeah. Noah, Noah could do his own little skits and fan stuff movies like and that. stuff. Hell yeah, hell yeah. And then, you know, obviously within our podcast, have our own stories and have our own... I think the podcast is mainly, though, what we're driving this yes. channel into with everything yes. else on the side. I think this is hopefully going to be scheduled, um, hopefully once a week. Hopefully, maybe it might. And just I don't be think this... it'll ever exceed more than forty-five minutes. Who uh, knows? It might. Just hey, be... hey, hey, we'll let it go for as long as it goes. Yeah, I think it might that's... just be this disjointed. Like you know, we're releasing like three in one week, and then you know the next week nothing, nothing. comes out. And I'm hopefully, things... I, I'm a very. Oh man, I'm a very very. Um... Uh, scheduled person. Oh, I'm seeing the opposite. I'm yeah, very yeah. so I think this is also going to be a very interesting thing, too, to see two worlds we're gonna, collide. Uh, we're going to figure it out. Two two good mates here, you know, two good that mates. are very different in personality. Indeed, indeed. And uh, um, today is Ashley's birthday. Oh, why yes. didn't we have her? Well, I, well, we'll have her in a special guest soon. Uh, um, yeah. Um, today I didn't tell her happy birthday in drama class. Today. Uh, shoot her, shoot her a text, man. It's not if it's not too late. I know, like Instagram. I love Ashley. She's yeah, great. Ashley's, She's a great Ashley's great. We all love Ashley. I think she'd be like an amazing personality to have like I, on this podcast. I um, agree. We we can have her on here sometime. Just you know, to talk. You know, relax, sit back. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I think uh, I think we should get Josh Braun. Josh Braun. Yeah. He, I think we should get Garrett. Jed. Yeah. Every if everyone has my boy Nick stories. It's wonderful. I don't know about Nick. 
Oh, no, I'm kidding. Yeah. I'm kidding. Well, we could, hey. Nick's, Nick's an all right guy. He's, Nick's a, he, all, he's yeah. an all right guy. We could have him on the podcast sometime. He really wants to be. You know, we'll, <laughs> that remains to be seen. Well, I've only... Only if he plays his the rap, right. oh. the rap that he made okay. three years ago. Okay, if we ago. can get him to play his like, three, two, two, three year old SoundCloud rap, um, our, uh, my my buddy Nick here, uh, <laughs> that'd be funny to see uh, right. and anybody's if, reactions to that. If you want to hear trash, I'm we're going to leave a link in the description to the first song I ever released. It's about, released it about two years ago. I haven't released anything since, but something like And I think soon. it'd be interesting next week to debrief on your uh, your artistry and your My skill artistry. in the music game and you know, My debrief skill. on the link in the description that we gave <laughs> the the lovely people to listen to. Skill. You can't see it, but I'm doing Oof, air quotations. Air quotes and skill. Let me tell you, that song was really, really... I bad. personally think it was an amazing stepping stone for it Noah. It was poorly executed, though. Uh, I think with the stuff you had... Very it limited was, technology. Now, opposed to a lot of people's music that are blowing up... You know, well, you were like fourteen, Noah. I was, yeah, yeah, but still, it was, it was bad. And the only way to get better is to. You're realize. almost seventeen now. Almost I in like birthdays. a month. Yeah, uh, a month and two days. Oh yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. December third's my birthday. No, you're in. Well, what do you mean no? We'll just call what you. What do you we'll mean just... no? <laughs> no, I disagree. I know when it, your birthday what, is. What? You weren't there for my birth. Probably. Uh, Probably. My, my mother didn't even show up to my own birth. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Big rips. Are you Dr. Doofenshmirtz now? That's literally what I just pulled that quote from. <laughs> <laughs> just some flabbious and flurb quotes, bro. Phineas and Ferb? Flabobbious and Are flurb. Are you kidding? The triangle, Dude, my, my gra- my, triangle head. My grandfather used to, like, I, we'd binge that show, and then my grandpa would literally forget the name of it, like... Ten seconds. <laughs> We're watching Flabbyus and Flurb. <laughs> no, Grandpa, it's Phineas and Ferb. Did you mean uh, Jack Sparrow and the Caribbean Sea Pirates? Okay, okay. <laughs> I cannot wait for Gar- for Garrett's piece on this podcast. Garrett is a legend. Garrett oh, is going man. to be beloved, and I think um, you'll all love Garrett's personality. Well, I, I Our definitely... friend Garrett Ripley Weigel um, is on the name Undercraft. Ripley? Yeah, Ripley. Oh, Ripley. Garrett Ripley Weigel. I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, what a middle name. Yeah, it is quite. Well, everyone, I think that uh, leads us to a wrap on today's podcast. Um, this is the intro, so obviously it's not anywhere close to what it will be. This is going to. This is officially titled our unofficial informal announcement. Uh, and the undercast part one. Part one. Season one, episode Season one. Season one, episode one. Because so we keep them on track. Rhett and Link, uh, two of my big idols. I know, they're old. Uh, they're they're old. like the grandfathers of Stopped. YouTube. But, but I, they, I haven't seen one of their videos. I listen to their while. podcast. That's about it. I and I, I, I very much just just pretty much like their podcast. Uh, no, I love their... But, but that's aside from the point. They said... Um, I think one of them said that uh, it's very smart to say things, uh, to announce that you release things in seasons so you can take a small break between and you don't small overload okay. yourself between seasons. Um, Maximum overdrive. Release them like shows. You know, like take 10 Adderall and 72 and, Red Bulls. Oh, yeah. 72, you know, See fill, what we can do. Fill one of those big gulp cups from 7-Eleven up with five-hour energy. Fill it up with, with liquid Adderall. Liquid Adderall. <laughs> That's there literally five-hour energy, bud. All right. No, it's all right. Well, we've got to log off. All right. See everyone. Uh, see you everyone. We'll speak at you next week. Indeed, and and just a uh, safety reminder. You know, this is Noah's <laughs> weekly health tips here. Oh um, no, you have you know. your own part. No, I. This I, isn't on the fly I didn't at all. Even, What's didn't your weekly health of, tips? Well, my this this week's weekly health tip is that um, Adderall is just safety cocaine, and you should look into it. I'm serious. All anyway, right. Anyway, have a Please wonderful. Please don't give them any other ideas. Oh, oh, dude, I don't know. Um, all right, so uh, we will, we will be, we'll be back. We'll be back. We will be back. We will be back. And until then, have a wonderful time. Make the most out of life and just, just, you know, be happy. Do that. Be happy. Good night, everyone.